Well, we've got Selection Sunday just six days away. We've got a lot of the minor league tournaments in college basketball concluding tonight. And, of course, the big guns are getting underway here in the next couple days. ACC, SEC, Big East, Big Ten, etc. But instead, I want to quickly talk about baseball. Listen, I know that 50% of the customers here at the site bid a due to gambling and take a summer vacation, as do many handicappers, the minute the big dance is over with on April 8th. They don't stick around for the NBA playoffs, which is far more easier to win in the NBA playoffs than it is during the NBA regu regular season. And they abandon baseball. Huge, huge mistake. Baseball, without a doubt, my favorite sport to bet, the easiest sport to make money in, period. Um... Off the top of my head, I think I've won like 12 of the last 15 seasons, another winning season last year. But here's the key to betting baseball. And you know I've told you repeatedly, the first three weeks of any season is the time that you, and the only time you, have the advantage over the odds makers. Because the lines aren't that sharp. They don't know any more of what to expect from teams, no matter the sport, at the outset of the season than anyone else. So the odds, no pun intended, are generally going in your favor. Now, in baseball, the key is the first three weeks as well. But in order to win the first three weeks, guys, you got to pay attention to the preseason. Now, exhibition play, the last couple of weeks, I didn't give a damn. I don't care who's playing, means nothing to me. Now, however, just in the last two days is when I start charting every single game and looking at every single spring training box score. Why? Because teams have started to make their roster cuts. Now, I don't care what camp you're in, whether you believe pitchers have the advantage early in spring or hitters do, it doesn't matter. Now you're getting your starters starting to make their, no pun intended again, the starters starting to make their longest, longer outings of the pre of the exhibition season. So instead of guys working a couple innings, taking the rest of the day off, you've got guys now that are going to start building their arm strength, working four to six innings against players that will most likely be in the major leagues. And that's why it's so critical to dispense with all the players that are going to be AAA and AA players this year to see them cut from the roster over the last couple of days. You don't care how your major league pitchers are going to be faring against minor league batters. This is what counts. The starts that pitchers are now making and their next two turns, most likely through the rotation. I stop charting pitchers the final week of spring training when you've got a lot of... Uh, games where starters are being having their innings curtailed because they've gone through five weeks of spring training. They're now powered up and ready to go for their first start of the regular season, where you'll have a lot of regulars getting a little extra bench time and too many split squad games. So to me, the next couple of weeks, this is the key time. You look at the pitchers who do the best, and then you bet them the first month of the baseball season. And guys, that's how you have the advantage in baseball. We'll talk more about baseball as the season approaches, but back to basketball here this evening. I've got a free pick coming up for you in a moment on the Spurs-Thunder game. And first off, got to talk about Brian Rosica again yesterday, guys. He was the half-price play of the day special, and I hope you cashed in because he did. And I got news for you. I didn't think he had a chance in hell to win that game. It was Indiana against Michigan. I'm watching it. Final minute, you saw how it uncorked. And he cashed in with another winner. The Hoosiers plus one winning by one at Michigan. Hey, a win is a win, guys, whether it's by 20 or by just one. And Indiana gets the job done. And today he goes for winner number 16 out of 19 over the past three, so three and a half weeks. And it is 60 dime winner number six in a row. A play just as strong as yesterday's 60 dime winner on the Indiana Hoosiers. And overall, since he joined the site, 21 and 6 with 1,014 dimes net profit, which means a $10 better, has won over 10 grand since he joined the site back on February 5th. I mean, it's a phenomenal run. You know what he's got going tonight. Craig Davis, great weekend. 50-dime winner on Saturday, scoring with Boise State over San Diego State. 50-dime winner number two in a row yesterday with Ohio State over Illinois. Tonight, 50-dime winner number 14 out of 18 and the third in as many days, the big game between St. Mary's and Gonzaga. I think St. Mary's has won 19 of their last 21 games, and the only two losses have come against the Bulldogs. But Bulldogs obviously favored in this game. Can they get the cover, or does St. Mary's deliver in double revenge? Well, guys, you can find out yourself because Craig Davis is today's half-price play of the day release. You can get his selection today for just half-price, $39.50. They have price play of the day promotion simply by using coupon code DAVIS3950. DAVIS3950. That will save you half 
of your purchase price today. Instead of paying $79, you will get it for $39.50. You know, the half price play of the day promotion, something I started about four weeks ago, and it has been a tremendous success as I would say conservatively, uh, the various handicappers that I've decided to feature uh, probably are hitting a little over 70%, maybe even close to 75% with these plays. So I hope that uh, you guys have all made a lot of money in the process. So that is going to be the half price play of the day selection today. It is going to be Craig Davis. And as you know, Craig Davis isn't just winning in basketball. I mean, you know. Look at what he did in football the last couple of years. But the bottom line is $10 betters over the past three and a half months have won $6,075 following his betting advice. Okay, we're going to get to the free pick here in... Uh just a moment. I just want to quickly remind you, if you haven't made your donation from last week's Charity Play of the Week selection, all the details are here underneath my video report. Um, those of you that have made contributions already, I thank you uh, as to play one for the fifth time in six weeks. By the way, um, I got a, a where actually customer service received a note, uh, I believe from... Um, it might be, I think it's the little boy's mother, uh, Titus Meister, the little boy who is featured in this week's Charity Play of the Week promotion. Uh, we so appreciate the support. I thought, uh, uh, and uh, she sent some pictures of him uh, uh, participating in sports. Uh, and then she said, and this is a heartbreaker, Titus can't do these things anymore. And it's a really blessing that this was posted when it was, meaning the Charity Play of the Week donation. Uh, we're waiting on new biopsies. We will keep you updated. Thank you so much. Again, guys, it's not directed to me. It's directed to all of you because without your help, this charity doesn't work. We've created a, a community of caregivers, and uh, you guys have certainly done your part, and I do thank you. And again, I'll keep this information up here another couple of days because I realize so many of you play offshore. You don't have the opportunity to cash in your funds because your sports books don't pay but once a week, etc. So it doesn't matter whether you get $5 or $50 as long as you participate. That's all I care about and help others that need some type of financial assistance and all the details or down below. Now, for your free selection today, guys, it would be real easy to take Oklahoma City tonight plus the two points at San Antonio, especially with Tony Parker being out. But here's my problem with backing the Thunder here tonight. This is going to be their fourth game in five days. It's hard enough to win in the NBA when you're playing three games in five, four days. Four games in five days, and you're on the road against a Spurs team that was humiliated by giving up 136 points in their last game, which came at home against the Portland Trail Blazers on uh, Friday night. Well, the Spurs are the rested team. They're playing at home, and I think it's an ambush. I mean... Look at the line in this game. And some guys will say, well, what is the line trying to tell you? Well, nine times out of ten, the line ain't telling you you know what. I mean, but I'm looking at the line here. The Thunder, full health, right? Thunder on an incredible run. Russell Westbrook on an incredible run. The Spurs are a two-point favorite. Are we trying to fool the public here tonight? Again, I don't think the line often says anything, but I do think it's interesting that the Spurs are still the two-point favorite here tonight. The one thing in this series has been that Tony Parker has not exactly played well against the Thunder. Remember last year's playoff series when the Thunder rallied from the 2-0 deficit to win in six games um, in the Western Conference Finals? These two teams have split their first two games this season. Manu Ginobili did not play in either one of them for San Antonio. Um, Spurs have a slight lead over the Thunder in terms of the top playoff spot in the West Conference. Um, but again, I think the Spurs are the play here tonight because they have the deeper bench, they have the more productive bench, and they should dominate the board. A splitter at center and Duncan with a couple of days rest, I think that they will do an outstanding job on the boards. Popovich has a much deeper rotation. You've seen how the Thunder's bench has been spotty. And listen, when you got Russell Westbrook as your point guard, he's a turnover machine. He may score 30 and turn the ball over eight times. Uh, he's not one of my favorite players in the NBA. Phenomenal fantasy rotisserie league player, but not a guy I wanted too often put my money on, especially on the road in hotly contested games. So I'm going to go with San Antonio tonight as your free pick as I look to extend my uh, free pick winning streak. And that'll do it, guys, for your Monday video report. Best of luck to you all, and I'll catch you again on Tuesday.